I recently got back from one of the greatest vacations of my entire life. Yeah, I went to Colorado for nine days. Uh, my husband, Rory, is, was working there um, for about a month or so, and um, I wanted to visit him, and uh, he, he, takes, he takes business trips every so often. Um, he's got a little bit of a traveling gig, uh, putting up plasma centers around the nation, and uh, Anyway, so I, I went and, and paid him a visit. I made a little vacation of it, though, to begin with, though. I traveled through bits of New Mexico that that I'd never seen before, the uh, Santa Fe area. I'd never been through there, so I, I bit, took a bit of a detour through there, stayed in a place called Cochiti Lake for the evening, um, stayed with this really nice woman, uh, who was renting out her room via Airbnb to people travelers and such, you know, the way Airbnb typically works. And, um, we, uh, went through Roswell on the way up to Cochiti Lake, which was entertaining because, uh, there was a UFO museum there. Um, bunch of neat little exhibits and artifacts and stuff from, from a UFO landing at some point in the 1900s and, uh, Zeus went in and we got to walk around and everybody was so obsessed with petting Zeus and um, it was good fun. So we, we, we went through there and, and and around then I got an email from the lady I was staying with in Cochiti Lake and she let me know that the room was ready and well, it was about a three hour drive from there up to Cochiti Lake so we hopped in the car, got some more gas and all that stuff. And, and uh, set out, and and it was around then where I actually started seeing like really nice scenery. It took it took like ten hours to finally see some some cool looking mountains and formations in the earth, and uh, yeah. It, and and we pulled into Kachiti Lake. We got into that area, and oh my gosh, just the smell of. Of, I guess like the rocks and the mountains and just the clean air smell just hit me in the face it was so overwhelming and in a good way <laughs> um, here in Austin it's just it's kind of I don't know we, we literally have days where we have ozone warnings it's, it's so, the pollution in the city is just getting worse and worse. So when I go places, I can really tell the difference between the clean air and, and what I'm used to here in Austin. We got up early the next day and, uh, got up around, around the time, uh, the, this, this lady I was staying with got up and, um, you know, said our, said our goodbyes and, exchanged formalities, and uh, uh, we set off for Colorado, and uh, it was about a six-hour drive, six-hour drive that, that first, or that second day, and um, I'd, I'd gotten a fair amount of sleep, but for some reason, this drive was slightly harder than the drive the day before, even though it was, like, cut in half. I'd, I'd just had it, like, that that road hum that like road hum that that vibrates your body after a long road trip you know what i mean that that was just getting to me and i I'd, I'd had it, it we 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 were about an hour or so outside of um denver so we were around like colorado springs and um <clears throat> I'd had it, dude. I'd, I'd, like, I just wanted to, I just wanted to take a nap. <laughs> like, a good five-hour nap would have been fantastic. But, uh, we stopped at this little gas station outside of, or, or like, in, in, in the Colorado Springs vicinity, and, uh, got some coffee, and I just 
pep talked myself into traveling one more hour. We were really close, not so far away, and uh, chugged this delicious gas station coffee. What is it about gas station coffee, though? Why is it so good? I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Turns out we were actually right across the street from Pike's Peak. We had a really great view of it, and uh, I sent my dad a, a f this photo here that I took of it. I was like, "Hey, guess guess what I see in the distance?" And and he uh, he piped back, "Oh, I I've been there before. I had a snowball fight with my daughter, which was adorable. Cause yeah, back in the day, my dad and I drove up Pike's Peak." on some sort of family adventure um, when I was a kid and we had a little snowball fight on the side of the road and uh, uh, I have no idea how we drove up there at one point in this trip and uh, like the the sides of the roads were, were really really steep you know it's a it's a mountain so um, I don't I have no idea where we stopped off. I mean, maybe there there are several places that you could stop and, like, take pictures and stuff. Um, but it wasn't on the road itself. But somehow I remember, like, being on the actual road on one of those... I don't know. I'm, I'm sure that wasn't the case. I don't think... I don't think my dad's really the type to just stop in the middle of traffic and and have a snowball fight. That That doesn't seem like him. Um, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, uh, so I finally got into Denver around, uh, around, like, two in the afternoon or so, and, um, Rory and I went out for some beers, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I was just, I was just so, so exhilarated to be out of the car to just, like, finally really be on vacation. I mean, I really like driving, okay? Don't get me wrong. I really do like driving places and, and seeing new things, but after a total of, like, 20 hours or so in the car, I just had it. It was time. And, uh, Denver was just... It was just perfect. Everybody, everybody was so happy. Like immediately, I, I just, I stepped out into the city for that first couple of moments, and um, I don't, everybody just had this. It, there was just this air of, of happiness and, and general like harmony in the city. And uh, I don't know. I can't really describe it. But but people just had. There was just this great great energy in this city and uh, I spent most of the week actually part of the week Rory had to work so uh, I took it upon myself to get up as early as possible it was kind of tough uh, because this bed that we were sleeping in was so comfortable like, I, I, I don't even I can't even compare this bed to anything because it was just that amazing so it was kind of hard to pull myself out of it in the morning but I did my best to do that and, uh, <laughs> and go out and just explore. I went to a museum, I went to an art museum, and uh, they, for some reason, had like 90% of the place shut down. So they let me in for free to like go to this one exhibit, which wasn't impressive. Um, so I just left and uh, wandered around and... For the most part, I just kind of sat at coffee shops and, and waited for Rory to get off work so we could go drive places and, you know, drive to other places in town that I couldn't easily walk to. And, um, we ate a lot of food. A lot of food was had and eaten. And, uh, yeah, we had, like, we had sushi a couple of times. Uh, we had Korean barbecue, we had Mongolian, we had, um, there was this place next door called Range, uh, next to the hotel, and, um, had all of these, all these, uh, really delicious plates. Kind of pricey, but, uh, really, really fantastic. Um, we ate there one night, and then we went to this place called, uh, Buckhorn Exchange, and, 
it had it was it, they serve a whole bunch of game meats and um, have really delicious cocktails and stuff and uh, we went there one night and um, this place was just amazing like, they had all these animal heads around the the place and um, I don't know I, I can appreciate that kind of thing I'm I'm not into hunting or anything, but this place was just, just, I mean, just to look at it was just impressive. And, uh, let's see, what else, what else did we do? We went to Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, we picked a day, uh, probably not the best day, but we went anyway. That We were getting, like, thunderstorm warnings and stuff, but we just kept driving, and we just kept driving down that road, and um, we got mostly, we got pretty far up to, up the mountain range, and um, there was one point where there were some policemen blocking the rest of the way, uh, and, and travelers were coming down, and they had piles of snow on their windshields. Um, yeah, it was, it was coming down. I took a took a time lapse here of, of some snow clouds coming in. It was just, I don't think I've ever seen, like, I mean, it's not, it's no different than, than rain clouds, I guess, but I don't know. It was just, just me having lived in warm climates my whole life. It was just so neat to see actual snow clouds moving in and towards us. Kind of surreal. Um... Yeah, Rocky Mountain National Park, and we came down from Rocky Mountain National Park and, uh, happened upon a delicious whiskey distillery. Um, and of course I had to stop. I had to make us pull over and, and hang out here for a bit. It was, so I think this is my last, it was, it was my last day there. And, uh, what better way to spend it than at a whiskey distillery, I'm telling you. So we stayed there for a bit. Um, I met a girl who works there, and uh, her name was Vanessa. And we drank with her a little bit. And she she's an artist of sorts too. I think she said she did graphic art of some sort or kind, like Photoshop, digital art type stuff. Um, yeah, we got along really well and. I could have stayed there all evening just talking to her and, you know, not driving home the next day, but it's not really the way life works. Other things we did, we went to the, uh, Denver, Vo Bo Denver, Bo gosh, the Denver Botanical Garden and, um, wandered around there for a bit, had some lunch. That was a really nice day, too. It was like... 70 degrees or something. Perfect sunny day. By the way, the weather here, the whole time I was there, the weather was incredible, except for that one time at Rocky Mountain National Park. Otherwise, like, perfect weather the whole time. It's it's almost like the universe just knew I was going to Colorado and, and wanted to, to grant me a fantastic time because the weather really had a lot to do with how much fun I had on this vacation. And there was another day where we treated ourselves to the Royal Gorge Railroad uh, train ride. Um, it was like a two hour long trip um, outside of Canyon City, so it was like a two hour drive or so from Denver. Um, it took off around 12.30 and we had some lunch on the train. And then we went outside and looked at all the things. All of the pretty things in the Royal Gorge. There's this huge bridge and it's like, I don't know. I, I, I looked into it a little bit and it was like 30 something dollars just to walk on this bridge. I might be wrong. Maybe I misread that somewhere, but uh, we decided to just ride the train and uh, it was it was incredibly worth it. I think this was my favorite part of the trip. It was just such a neat touristy thing to do, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm so in love with this part of the country. And trains are so cool also. I don't know. It, it was just, 
It was something I just couldn't resist throwing my money at, so I did. And no regrets. None at all. So, yeah, I got back a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know, it, it, you never have that feeling after a really great road trip where it all just kind of feels like a dream, and, I don't know, you've already woken up and you've lived your reality, your day job, you're going to bed, you're eating dinner, you know, the whole routine thing that you've been used to for so long, and you think back on your trip and it, it just doesn't seem real. Well, that's kind of how this feels. Rory and I have been doing some talking about Colorado and how much we like it and how life is short and stuff and we're thinking about moving out there. And it, it won't be anytime soon because he really likes his job and I'm doing school here, so I think we're probably going to stay here until I finish my degree. Uh, maybe like another two years or so. And maybe in that two years we'll completely change our minds, but yeah, he, he really likes his job and, and I've got school, so you know, life will go on and, and maybe our our plans will change, but for the time being I've got my heart set in, in uh, the middle of Colorado State, and I really, really want to go back. Like, if I could just pack my bags and, and take off right now, I would, but I can't. So for the time being, I'll just draw pictures and upload videos and dream my little dreams. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.